Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about float. This is one question that most of my students have asked me. John, please can you teach me float? Okay. See, this, uh, let's say this class, is, we're going to have two class here, okay? This is going to be part one and part two. In part one, in part one, what I'm going to teach you in part one? Part one would be most of fu uh, fundamentals, okay? Fundamentals means basics, okay? So this is step one, let's say. In step two, we're going to do, or part two, we're going to do real maths problems. Okay? This is like, you know, 100% question in the PMI exam, PMI PMP exam, or the certified associate in project management. Okay? PMP or project management. Anyway, so uh, before we start this class, okay, I just want to teach you the basics now, fundamentals of uh, how to calculate float. Okay? Okay. Now, if you uh, just, you know, let me just tell you this, okay? This is a small story. We know a project is made up of phases, isn't it? Phase one, phase two, okay? A project is made up of a couple of phases, let's say related phases. And each phase is made up of activities, okay? Activities. Activity one, plus, 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 plus. Activity n, you know, related activities. So actually, let me just talk about this example which I given before. Actually, this is an example for project management. Okay, what is the meaning of project management? Okay, let's talk about first project. I give an example where uh, let's say we get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, from 6 a.m. to 6:10 we have one. Let's say we turn off the alarm. Okay, turn off uh, turn off the alarm and then we switch uh, and we tell hello to everyone in WhatsApp. Okay, this is some uh, day to day uh, daily routine. Let's say from 6:10. Uh, to 6.15 we brush our teeth okay it's called brush up and whatever 6.15 a.m. to 6.35 we have a morning walk a morning walk and uh, let, let's say morning exercise uh, 20 minutes John 20 minutes it's okay you know something better than nothing and then from 6.35 to 6.50 we have breakfast or let's say we have shower okay shower plus breakfast okay let's say keep 6.55 20 minutes okay so actually let they are phases can we call these phase one phase two phase three and phase four hmm? and in each phase there are activities isn't it one activity finishes like you turn off the alarm and then you say hello to people in whatsapp okay then you sh oh, let's say you fold your bed sheet and then you know phase two starts so this is one uh, set of activities so can we say one activity finishes okay let's say you turned off your alarm you, you off your alarm okay you off your alarm and then you started the next activity and then what did we say we stole hello to everyone we tell hello hello in whatsapp hmm? So can we say this is activity A and activity B? From there, let's say, um, what did we say? We folded our bed sheet. We kept our mobile aside and then we, t uh, we folded our bed sheet. Okay, so this is in one phase. Hmm? Phase one, that was this one, phase one. Okay, so let me just uh, make things clear. So can I say uh, this is activity A, activity B, and activity C, activity C was what? Uh, folding the bed sheet. Hmm? Folding the bed sheet. Mm. Okay. So can I tell, okay, tell me if I'm wrong or not. Can I tell activity A had some duration? Okay, let's say from these 10 minutes, let's say activity to switch off my mobile, uh, switch off my alarm, it took me, I think, uh, generally I take it in the first, uh, you know, when as it rings, it's going to be off. But let's say some of my students say, John, I love to put the snooze button. Okay, so let's say it took <laughs> two minutes to turn off your alarm, okay? You made the, uh, let's say, the mobile hot. Okay, from there, you tell hello to everyone. I think this is the longest time. Let's say we take uh, seven minutes, okay? And then uh, one minute to fold your bed sheet. Yeah, okay, uh, okay, 
So can I tell, okay, let me just make things uh, much, much clearer. This is activity, okay, another activity. I'm talking about the same thing down, okay, the same thing which I'm talking down, another activity here. Hmm? So activity A had a duration of two minutes. Activity B had a duration of seven minutes. And activity C had a duration of one minute. So in total, okay, in total, how many minutes did it take to complete this activity A, B, and C? Can I say activity A, B, C took me around 10 minutes. How I got 10 minutes? Two plus seven plus one. Everything is in minutes, isn't it? So total duration is for activity A, B, and C is 10 minutes. So actually, this is the step one in any any um, any in in any problem. Okay, in, if you want to calculate float, first you're going to find the duration. See, I'm going to take this step by step from you know from a lower level to higher level. Okay, so first thing is what you're going to calculate the duration of each activity. Now this is clear. Okay, one more thing. Uh, there's one more thing I like to tell you. Hmm? Let me just rub this uh, morning breakfast story. Okay. Just one minute. Okay. So sorry for the. Uh, okay. So far, so good. Okay. I have always problems here. Anyway, so what did I tell? Activity A, that was to turn off your alarm, took two minutes. And this is what I wrote here. And activity B, tell hello to everyone in WhatsApp. Based on how big your group is, you will have to, you will take more time. But you know, you have a fixed time here. You know, you're going to finish by ten minutes or something. Let's say seven minutes here. So two plus seven, nine. Nine plus one, ten. Okay. Wh what do you th understand from here? So far, what do you understand? What do you understand from this story so far? Once one activity finishes, okay, let's say activity A, an activity A, this is activity A, okay? This is, let's say, can we call this guy the start of an activity? And this is the end of or the finish of an activity, start and finish. Hmm? You want to call him end? No issues here, okay? Just want to give you, you know, we all speak in the same language, okay? Some people, some of my students say, John, I want to call it beginning and end because uh, I'm a PMI guy okay because project they said no project has a beginning and end isn't it okay so this is the story an activity A has a start and end or let's say finish okay so can we tell okay when activity B sorry activity A finishes activity activity B will start let me just change the color or let me just clean this stuff here, okay? So things will not be uh, confusing for you, okay? So let's say, uh, let's bring green in color, okay? So, five, okay. So this is activity A start and activity B, uh, A start and uh, end, hmm? Okay. When an activity is finished, finished, okay, this is finished, okay, then it's after two minutes. From here to here, it took me two minutes for some reason. It took me two minutes to off my alarm. Anyway, so now your activity A finished. Now you're going to start activity B. Activity B starts. It took me seven minutes to finish this activity. Seven minutes. Good. So can we tell this point was the start of activity B and finish of activity A? Hmm? And then, if then after seven minutes, that's our total nine minutes. Hmm? Activity C started. Okay. And this is end. Uh, let's say finish. So what do you understand from this? Uh, let's say this diagram. One activity finishes. Another activity starts. Uh, one activity finishes, other activity starts. So it's basically finish-start relationship. Hmm? What's it? Finish-start relationship. One activity, uh, let's say an activity on a node. An activity on node means what? This is an activity, activity A, in a node. Let's call a representation, let's call a node. 
okay representation of an activity on a node so it's like when activity a finishes b will start again when uh, b finishes c will start is this concept clear hmm? I will just make this, uh, what do you say, let me just take this to step 2 now, let's say this is level 1. In level 1 what did we understand? There is an activity here, activity 1 A has a duration of 2 minutes, this is activity A having duration of 2 minutes, activity B have a, has a duration of 7 minutes and uh, activity C has a duration of 1 minute, total duration of these activities A, B and C is 10 minutes, isn't it? Hmm? This is clear. I think this is picture perfect. No confusion here. Okay. Let's make uh, this a uh, little bit more complicated. Okay. Let me just clean everything. Hmm? Let's take another story here. Okay. So, uh, some story, uh, this, this is the story. Okay. Let's say this is your start. Okay. Here you started up, that means you got up, your, your alarm started ringing, it took you two minutes. Activity A finished, you started activity B, which took you seven minutes, which takes seven minutes, let's say, and then activity C. Beautiful? One minute. So this total stuff, uh, let's say these activities, or let's say phase one, took how much minute? Ten minutes. So we can tell at the end of this activity C, this is the end, isn't it? It completed phase one. Hmm? Okay. This is clear. Huh? This is what I just thought. Uh, we can we can consider this as a summary. Okay. So actually this is the first thing you should understand. What was the first thing? You must make the path A, B, C. Okay? And then each activity, how much duration it took, you added up everything. That's say uh, 2 plus 7 plus 1. You got it, 10 minutes. Okay. This is clear. Huh? Okay. Now let's just take...